Welcome back for another Voice Matters Live. Today's topic is set down your peppy mask. I'm Lori Smith. I'm a public speaking and leadership coach and the chief visionary officer at Voice Matters. I'm on a mission to help fellow visionary souls on a mission to stand in their power, speak their truth, and lead so they can do their part to change the world with authenticity, creativity, and courage. As I mentioned, today's topic is set down your peppy mask, and we're exploring removing an emotional mask of a kind that I'm calling the peppy mask. Let's talk about what the peppy mask is. The peppy mask is a false peppy. Um, if you are a naturally peppy, perky person who values joy and part of your mission is to bring joy into the world, that's fantastic. Uh, the peppy mask is not the same thing as that organic joy. The peppy mask comes from uh, being told consciously and unconsciously that we need to smile more, that we need to be happy, that we need to be perky or rah-rah. It's possible that joy is a top value for the person who told us that. So the impact that they may want us to have is to spread joy. However, they're not in our bodies, they're not living our lives. And spreading joy may be out of alignment with the impact that we as leaders want to have in that moment. So instead of being ourselves, we choose the part of us that needs to be liked. And we start doing what we think they want from us. We start assuming that everyone wants us to smile all the time. And one of the ways that that shows up is this perky, peppy, smiling, inorganic mask. It becomes a mask of protection, like stuck on the face, rather than a smile that, start that starts at the toes and goes up through the whole body and flowers on the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my introduction again with a peppy mask on. So you can see what it looks like on me and ask yourself if you've ever been trapped in this kind of a cycle. Hi, I'm Lori Smith. I'm a public speaking and leadership coach and the chief visionary officer at Voice Matters. I'm on a mission to help fellow visionary souls on their own mission to stand in their power, speak their truth and lead so they can do their part to change the world with authenticity, creativity, and courage. <sighs> let me let that go. Take a deep breath with me and feel your toes. Uh, curious, go ahead and add in the comments how that one landed on you coming from me that might have been different from how my first one coming from me landed. It stems from a desire to fit in. It stems from a widely held belief that there is only one kind of charisma. And the one kind of charisma is peppy, happy. Uh, it comes from a person who is extremely expressive, smiling on the time, all the time, gesturing a lot. Um, sometimes it will actually shift and people will say that the one kind of charisma is actually more still. So stop moving, don't gesture. Mythbuster. Everyone is born charismatic. Everyone has their own unique brand of stage presence. It gets unleashed by being you, being seen and letting others in. So if you have been asked to match other people's energy, match their energy, don't imitate their style. Effort is not the same thing as energy. When I was demoing my own intro with the peppy mask on, I was imitating someone else's style and I was working really hard. And the imitating someone else's style is like wearing a shoe that doesn't fit me. It took a tremendous amount of effort to do that. 
Unfortunately, it's not going to magnetize my tribe mates, the people that I might want standing beside me on my soul's mission. It doesn't draw in my soulmate clients because it creates static and confusion that muddies the message. So instead of imitating what you think you need to be with the peppy mask and a lot of effort, let's try this instead. Imagine that you're actually taking off your peppy mask and setting it to the side. Go ahead and close your eyes and feel all of that energy, that hunger to have an impact and to change the world and allow it to move from your face down through every inch of your body all the way to your toes down to the seat beneath you or your feet, all the way out to the edges of your physical arms, powered by the energy in your heart. And then imagine that you could expand your unique energy all the way to the edges of the physical room that you're sitting in, so that you are hugging the room with all of that energy. Notice how that feels different. I'll do my intro one more time so you can feel it again without the peppy mask on. I'm Lori Smith. I'm a public speaking and leadership coach. As the chief visionary officer at Voice Matters, I'm on a mission to help other visionary souls stand in their power, speak their truth, and lead so that they can do their part to change the world with authenticity, creativity, and courage. Notice how that felt different from both of the first two. I invite you to try this, to remove your peppy mask, allow the energy to flow through your entire body. Take a moment to think about the impact that you want to have. If you were honoring one value with how you said your introduction, what would that be? Would it be spreading joy? Would it be spreading love? Would it be bringing awakening or curiosity? Would it be calling others forth? Would it be bringing hope? Whatever it is, allow that to flow through your whole entire body and out through those energetic arms hugging the room. This is really about being you, being seen, and having the impact that only you can have in each moment, not the one that someone else wants you to have. You are a unique and beautiful soul. Your voice is needed in the world. If you liked this, go to www.voice-matters.com and click on the bar at the top of the page to download your free copy of the Visionary Souls Guide to Authentic Speaking. Thank you so much, and I will see you back here next week for another Voice Matters Live.